as you can hear in the distance those are chainsaws we had a really bad storm come in last night and it pretty much destroyed a ton of stuff got the corn and everything I'm gonna show that to you I have not been in there yet I only saw a bunch of things you know down from the from the porch of the house but it knocked a bunch of trees down um, we didn't get electricity until about an hour or two ago we had uh, 60 to 70 mile an hour wind gust here last night and uh, it was crazy crazy storm but uh, it actually knocked over some of our sunflowers these things were huge snap one of them that's a bummer <laughs> I'm gonna get over the corn I don't even want to look at it right now <laughs> but this happens you know this is nature but that's one of the sunflowers big one right here a lot of these guys are all right okay I had a tomato cage fall over that's not too big of a deal I can put that up here pretty easy yeah we can put that up pretty easy but the corn Knocked all the corn over. Man, this really sucks. But a lot of it will stand back up, but a lot of it will be bent. It will affect the harvest. I mean, I'll get, I'll get some seed. I'll get seeds out of these. You know, I'll get enough for seeds and stuff like that. But it won't be as much as it should be because a lot of these will kind of start to come up, but they won't totally come up, and they'll bend, and it just it affects pollination. But yeah, sometimes this happens, you know, you get a bad storm come in here and just knocks everything over. <laughs> Little squashy dudes. But you would think right now, this has happened before, I've, I've dealt with this in the past. Um, usually when you grow corn and stuff like that, if it's not, you know, a big old field of it, you grow small small patches of it it'll happen but if you were to take this right now and bend this up a lot of them will snap uh, but it's it's early in the morning the sun's starting to come up I noticed that some of them are starting to kind of lean back up and this one over here is a little bit more shady than the rest so it might not come back up as fast as everything else so I'll keep you guys updated I'm hoping that a lot of it's you know gonna gonna come back up and stuff like that but <laughs> we got we got one little little ear right here. It was just starting to make little ears and tassels and stuff. So it's, I'm really bummed out. But hey, there's nothing you can do about it. When you grow gardens, you're used to stuff like this. Something coming in there. Because, I mean, I knew that a ra raccoon or a deer or something like that could potentially come in here. So you're always thinking about it. You know, you might wake up one day and your corn's all down, all destroyed. So, uh some people can't even grow corn because of that, or they have so many times, and I have. There's been a lot of times when, you know, you just have so many issues growing corn, you just say, I'm not going to do it anymore. But I'm going to keep you guys posted. We'll see if it all stands back up. I'm going to walk you back here. That, the funny thing about all this was yesterday, a uh, this corn right here had fell over and something was chewing on it. I think it was raccoon. I think the raccoons kind of came and gave me damage initially. But yeah, something came in here and wanted to chew on this thing and chewed on the leaves and knocked it over. And it was laying down yesterday by itself. So yesterday I took a couple stakes and I just staked this one stalk of corn. And uh, it survived. It's sitting nice and straight. But everything else is laying down. So I just wanted to update you guys on this this morning. Not always something that you like to wake up to, but I'll uh, I'll let you know how much of it stands up and uh, keep you guys updated on it all. <laughs> 